And this guy was the man. But this is what he said. He said, I only want one thing. I've done all those things. I want one thing. How many people would just love to have one thing today? But he says, this one thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Hear me for a moment. David says, I have all these responsibilities. I've done a lot in my life. I've still got a lot to do, but I only want to do one thing, and that is touch the glory of God. Hear me for a moment. Prayer is not just another discipline in your life, something that you should do, you ought to do. Prayer is not a duty, it's a delight when suddenly out of the mundane routine lives, when we stop, listen to me, when you actually pause to pray, you're connecting with God and you're connecting with his glory and you're lifting your life out of the routine to the sublime. You're getting a taste of heaven, everybody. Every time you pray, you're getting a taste of heaven. And you know what? You are destined for the presence of God for the rest of your life, for all eternity. And I don't want to be a stranger to that stuff when I get to heaven. Are you hearing me, everybody? I don't want like the voice of Jesus to be something new to me when I get to heaven. I don't want to be like a stranger in heaven. I want heaven to be like my natural home because I've downloaded it while I'm on earth. Look at this. When I pause, and pausing is so important. When I pause for prayer, I connect with someone, God, who's bigger than me. I connect with glory. Something's different happening when I stop to pray. And whether, I don't know where you're going to be when you pray, but that moment becomes like a holy moment when you're connecting with heaven itself. 